am doing a mid-year book haul. Most of these books I bought earlier in this year, but because I haven't hauled them yet, I decided to do them together as a mid-year book haul. And beginning with the selection series. I've already reviewed the, these books on my channel, if you're interested in checking out my opinion. They are The Selection, The Elite, and The One. I did not get the the heir and the crown because they take place 20 years later and they're more spin-offs. These already have a have proper conclusion and, when I, and I heard they aren't as good. And also when I check out what happens, it's not what I like, so I'll just keep my own fan fiction ending. The next is the Truly Devious series. I love mysteries and I heard a lot of good things about these. These are by Maureen Johnson. They are the, the Truly Devious, The Vanishing Stair, and The Hand in the Wall. Sorry, The Hand in the Wall. Now, these three are one mystery, uh, one mystery throughout three books. Now, usually I'm skeptical about a whole mystery taking place over these three thick books, but I heard good things about it, so I'm, a, I'm confident that they're good. At least I hope. And it's about a girl in a boarding school, and she loves solving mysteries, and now she gets to solve one because there's a murder mystery going on. And it, it began like years ago, which makes it more interesting to me, because it began like in 1936, I think. There was a murder. Okay, next we have a bunch of classics. I love classics. First, we have A Christmas Carol. I think this is a beautiful tale. I love not just this uh, adaptation, but even all the modern adaptations. I think this is a story that can be trans transposed to any kind of setting, and you can still have a beautiful story with the same message. And next we have the Sherlock Holmes books. The okay, this one has two novels, which is the A Study in Starlet and A Sign The Sign of the Four. And this one is this one is short stories, I think, in the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Now there's six books in this, this series, but I only bought the first two first. And next we have Anne of the Island. I, I mean Anne, Anne of the Other Anne of the Island. And Anne's House of Dreams. These are the third and fourth book in the Anne of Green Gables series. I didn't buy the first two because I already have Anne of Green Gables and Anne of what Anne of Avonlea in another edition. So I bought the ones I didn't have first. I'll buy the first two of these ones because they're nice. And another day, I mean another time. But one thing that bothers me, I mean, as much as I love these, one thing that bothers me is the jacket. Like, look, look at these. I mean, do you see the difference? Like this one is more papery and this one is more glossy. I wish that it's giving me the same jacket. Yeah, uh, but anyway. Or Max I have mostly romances or more like contemporary or drama kind of romances. And first we have Christina Lauren books. These are the three I heard the best reviews on. Uh, the Unhoneymooners. I think there's more of a hate to love story. It's about the, the guy and the girl. The, his brother is married to her sister, and they they couldn't go on their honeymoon, so these two somehow have to go on their honeymoon and pretend to be a couple. I don't, I have no idea why, but I need to find out, I guess. And the next is Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating. This is more friend, best best friends to lovers thing. And this one is more of, uh, in a holiday. It's more of a Groundhog Day thing where she has to relive the day over and over again till she gets it right. And next we have The Twelve Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayless. And it's about this girl who, I think she's run out of luck in love. So her friend agrees, uh, I mean, offers to set her up on 12 different dates with 12 different guys. And next we have two Katie Ford books. The Perfect Proposal. Okay, this one is the second hand. Can you tell second hand? Uh, this one is also kind of an enemy to lovers, I think. But it's about this girl who were working uh, for an old lady, and her his nephew. I mean, her nephew doesn't trust the main character, and then they have this whole hate to love dynamic. And uh, uh, the a wedding in the country is about. I'm not really sure from what's written behind it. Just says about it. Just says that this girl 
and she cuts her hair and she doesn't like her mom's conservative standards, I think. And then she falls in love with this guy who's already engaged to someone else. Uh, that's all I understand from my, what I read behind here anyways. And the next one is The Marriage Game by Sarah Desai. It's about an Indian couple. Okay, the girl is... What's she? Oh, yeah. Her father apparently sort of set, uh, arranges a series of di blind dates for her, and she doesn't know it's her father. And I guess that's I don't know. I mean, I don't remember exactly everything I read behind. I read up the synopsis because I bought these a long time ago, not a long time, like a few months ago. Okay, the next is the hating game. As the title suggests, it's about a hate to love romance in the office. They work together. Okay, the next is on the fence by Casey West. It's about this girl who's kind of a tomboy and she has three brothers and a single dad and she falls for her neighbor. The next one is Surprise Me. It's about a married couple who, I guess they've been married for a long time. You get married, when you're married for a long time, sometimes you know, things sort of get in the rut, I guess, and they decide to surprise each other and then there's some drama with that, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. And the next, one I have are two Jessica Brody books. These are more contemporary romances. Okay, this one is about a girl who's grieving for a best friend, and she meets this guy at the airport who's just stuck in the airport, and he helps her get through her grief, I think. Yeah. And this one is more of a about a spoiled girl, and her father says that in order to get her inherited, she has to work fifty-two d different jobs each week for fifty-two weeks. To get an inheritance and 52 odd jobs, not the kind of job that she would like. Not that she wants to work, but you know, these are like jobs in a restaurant or something and she doesn't want to. So she, she's angry with her father, but she still does it because she wants an inheritance. And the, the main, the love interest is someone, I guess, a father set to supervise her. And they also have a sort of head, hate to love, I guess. Okay, these are all the books I have. I'm sorry, I can't fit all of them on the screen. So these are all that fit in my screen. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I usually do book reviews and other media discussion videos. By that I mean a discussion of characters and tropes and other things on books, film and television. You can consider checking me out and subscribing if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching once again. And I will see you in another video.